Hi, I'm Annie Stores. Welcome back to my channel. It's the weekend today and I am doing some more organising. So this time it is organising our photos from our last uh, Disney trip, which was to Walt Disney World in Florida. That was last year. Now I'm not sure if I'm still like the only person ever to still print out photos and organise them, but we do this for all of our family holidays so we've got like a really nice record. The Disney albums go back from 2010 which is when Pete and I first went on our uh, first Disneyland Paris holiday. So it's a tradition I want to keep going. So gonna start doing that today. I have got two albums that we bought in Florida. So we've got the 2019 album featuring Mickey and the rest of the gang and then we also have the Castle album. Um, this is gorgeous actually. It comes with a little pen as well so that you can write down your, your memories in the book as well. We have ordered all of our pictures here from Tesco Photo. We've got 400 pictures that we need to fit into the album so we can get cracking with that. And I just love seeing them done. I love seeing them flicking and flicking through them. And uh, there's just something a bit nicer about having something in hand rather than, you know, always looking at things digitally on your phone. Uh, so it's taken quite a while to sort out all the pictures. I think I had 3,000 that I've now narrowed down to 400. So that was quite tough going. But yeah, want to get those in the album and then put it on the shelf with all of the rest of them. So um, welcome to my channel and I hope you enjoy. I've took out all the photos and I've got the album that I'm going to put, start putting the first lot into and I've got my laptop up. Now all of the photos have been numbered uh, by day so I just need to then go back and arrange the photos in the same date so I can start putting them in the album. Something to be mindful of and something that I have worked on doing is with the actual album itself they come in You've got the first two pages, so that can hold two photos, and then going forward, they are in sets of four. So what I've done is actually worked through so that all the series of the photos are in the same order. So that's just something to be mindful of, especially when you're splitting it over two albums, is make sure you count so that you've not got um, random ones sort of coming in and then they're out of order. So let's get on with that. the photos they are all in the correct order so now I can just start popping them in the album now looking at my laptop versus what's in front of me and um, I think one or two might be missing but some of them are a little bit stuck together so hopefully um, we've not lost any along the way I think what's been quite helpful about numbering them and putting them on the laptop like this is that I can work out so if there is anything missing I can just leave a gap and find out where that missing photo is when I mentioned about the theming of them so I just thought I'd give you a quick look so this um, particular day was when we went to Disney Springs so we did the Christmas tree trail so we've got the four pictures from that particular day and then when we met Santa we went for Christmas season which was fab and um, although slightly strange seeing Santa and hearing Christmas songs and Christmas trees when it was like 30 degrees and then this is one of the photo shoots that Oscar did. Now what was great about the Memory Maker, so this came free with our package, but it's normally I think about $200 to purchase. There are photo studios around the parks and Disney Springs where you can pop in and have your photo taken. So this was one that Oscar did in his Captain Hook outfit. 
and then this is one that we all did together and then they've superimposed the backgrounds there so we've got the Disney castle lit up with the illuminations and the Mickey head balloons with the Disney castle behind us so that was all free included and just appeared on our memory maker pass something to be mindful though with the memory maker for Walt Disney World is that it is the photos are only valid for 40 days and they do disappear so don't get caught out by that we did but luckily Disney were able to retrieve our photos now with the photo pass that we normally get from Disneyland Paris your photos do stay on there for 12 months so we, we thought it was the same but it, it isn't so don't get caught out by that so nearly done with this album and then we'll move on to the next one Another group of photos that I wanted to point out was the um, lantern photos. So this is in the Magic Kingdom Park. It is only available after dark uh, for obvious reasons. It is located near the um, Tangled Toilets and these are just so lovely. So we've got the lanterns here, they're all behind. It's quite low level lighting but they're just really lovely photos. So definitely some of my favourites from the trip. So that is both of the albums done and then the final thing to do is just pop in these extra prints into this gorgeous Disney frame that we've bought which is going to hang behind me. I'll show you that when that's done. We always like to pick up some frames while we're there and just so that we can have some of the pictures on display. So we'll get on to that. And there we have it, the completed albums with the rest of our Disney albums and our new hanging framed pictures. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you soon.